happen. By my horns, you'll not live to see the dawn. How could this be? <laughs> Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Shut away! Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I stoke the furnace. under attack. Bottom tower is under attack. Oh Radiant's bottom tower has been denied. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Over here now. Dyer's 
structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under Radiant's top tower. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Whoa, what I miss? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. are under attack. Dyer's top barracks has fallen. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's middle barracks has fallen. Dyer's middle barracks has fallen. Team's secret victory! I, I, I love that opinion you mentioned the whole raise buff that, that will be the end of it. So no first blood just yet, but clearly Secret making a point to put a lot of pressure. I mean, this is the downfall of Shadow Fiend, right? He's a great hero in a lot of ways, but his biggest issue is that he's very vulnerable to getting ganked. Yeah, he's the, my favorite hero to kill, actually. Him and Storm Spirit before he gets level 6. Yeah. 
Just so cool to kill him. Oh! oh that block! Queen of Pain meanwhile going to the Somnus! And Yapsaurus does have another Impale coming up shortly, I'm sure. This could be a first blood on the Somnus now. He's gonna go for the turn call to Yapsaurus, doing some auto attack damage, but Fanta successfully gets rid of four to kill onto the Shadow Fiend. And it's a one nothing star. We haven't even done this yet, though. Yao, he stuns it. Shadow Fiend pointing into the tier 2 tower of the Impale, hitting just the Shadow Fiend, and the cask is gonna bounce around. But if you're secret here, are you overall okay with this? Don't you want your Tiny to get a good start, or are you fine with a sacrifice of sorts? I think they want to get the farm on the, oh, the top lane, though. Oh, he is in trouble, isn't he? Kask helped him a little bit, but CTY just out of range for the finish. Ame, he's going to be blocked by Puppy a little bit. And Puppy will just walk it off, actually. In fact, Capture's now coming in, and Rubik could be the one in trouble. You see up here, yeah, he's going to pop the self on up. Maybe get here in time to help. Nope, Rubik goes down, and the Fade Bull not nearly enough damage to take out OD with him. So, secret. Nice response there. 2 nothing start. So, going back to what we were just talking about there before. The, oh, well. Lacoste, not yet. OD goes down. All right, there we go. So, yeah, if you want to say back to the bot lane, Tiny, against yeah. the Tidehunter, well, uh... So, Tiny, it sounds like ultimately you're fine. Just the idea that we're going to be playing the recovery game on him. It's all about getting Queen of Pain, especially with Star. Because, yeah, you even look at OD. OD's only 7-2 and two right now when it comes to his CS. In fact, he's in trouble right here. He could be going down. He uses the Astral... Uh, imprisonment on the creeps right there to farm and little do you know Sand King and Rubik were roaming in Victoria picks up credit for the kill. Poppy smoke, they're gonna dive Shadowfind on mid lane. That's the plan. Will they be successful with the kill? Maledict is up. I'm guessing this level one. Yeah, he's one level two in total. So definitely the kill, but it what caught out Victoria. Porting in with just in him, although Sand King's rotating over, it's gonna say Rubik could be in trouble now, but Speaking of, you're talking about items right there, that's early on, but three crafting a little bit for the Shadow Fiend, especially with the new raise power and how, you know, the consecutive raises can be so pretty good in general. Is, is there the idea of the build of maybe that Yule's the Axe? As, oh, Ami gets the kill. I believe that's at the top lane, yeah. OD goes down again in the bottom lane, Yao goes down in response, so action all over the place, Witch Doctor falling as well, so... Uh, he's going to walk back. The absolute is also needing to be a little bit careful. But again, just having to walk away. Spirit is used right there. Imprisonment, he damaged before he went into it. Though, I think a full kill. Big dive come now. CTY is going to fall to Ame. And now, yes, yeah, just going to somehow escape. No more DPs coming in. Double kill for the Phantom Lancer. Again, with the new talents and just how the raises work as you're getting, it, it, it seems like that's not the go to by any means, but it's definitely something that is not surprising to see. I'm. Jeez, they are just all over the yeah, place. I'm just missing everything. <laughs> okay, that was three kills that I swear happy. But the big one, of course, Ame going down over there on Phantom So that, that's kind of a streak stopper, right? A five kill streaks up 700 gold. Gonna play a Shadow Strike, but we'll just walk away. How about Fata's decision to go for the early field Discord? I guess we did talk about a lot of magic damage on this team, so. It does seem like it's going to have good synergy with them, but another fight breaking out. You got the bottom lane down here. Pearl Strike into the epicenter there. Come on, damage, and it catches the Witch Doctor at least for the kill. But it's only one kill, two ultimates to use. Fata nearby on the Queen of Pain. It's to why he's going to run back in as well. On the imprisonment onto the somebody over there in the back. I believe that was Rubik actually he gets the kill right there. TTY is not getting away. Sonic Wave just on a tight end, but finally going to finish off OD as he was just simply trying to run at that point. And toss it in the air, takes out Tanking and flying those front lines. Oh, he is a freaking baller. Just so beefy. And Somnus trying to use the near part of the Requiem channel. is going to be activated. No, it keeps canceling it. Choosing not to use it just yet. But now Shadow Fiend has to be a little bit careful sneak it out. He absolutely lands the impale. The cask is soon to fall on four seconds. They might not even need it though. Avalanche into the top spot. Nearby gush from the tenor. It gets the rocket. It's all set up at the spread care base. Coming out from Yash. initially done, but nice raises right there to drop Tiny and Thomas still looking good. And guess who's here now? It's Ame. Ame coming in. Spirit Lance Puppy. He gets hit by. Gonna be slowed down massively. And eventually hit down by Tyler. Now Thomas can he snuck it away from this. The impel misses, but it is enough damage. But now see Dwight back into the fight. This could be second on him. This fight's just taking forever. Gapsters earned defensively to heal on up. Ame will finish off OD though. And imprisonment stolen by uh, uh, by Victoria right before that. You see Quinn Payne able to at least get the turn kill finally and finish off Shadow Fiend and Fonda. Blink it back to base, Lacoste. We're what is finished. happening? At minute 13, you have uh, a fight that lasts now in this game. Uh, they don't have anything to stop the Requiem. Once he gets the BCP, it's uh, 100% Requiem. <laughs> and, and the tight after all, the buff he received, the uh, extra AoE. Yeah. And it covers pretty much the whole screen. Yeah. We saw right there, I mean, another slow kill with it, but very worth it, especially on a hero like Woody. Just really. I mean, look at the other network card. He's, he's what, seventh right now at 3,200. That is just, that, that's nothing. He's 
He's might as well be a support at this point, unfortunately. C2I having trouble. Ace goes in, but Rubik with the save with the defensive imprisonment. Tight under. Gonna be tossed in, but again, FY very BB surviving for now. Ace goes down. FY still damage on the hit. Finally, the Sonic Wave will finish the job, and now Somnus, they can pick off him too. That would be big. Victoria, though, trying to help out. The locked in with the impel. The death ward is up, and they do get the kill on a Somnus. Ami, though, he's now trying to pick up targets himself as the imprisonment lock on somebody here. That would be Puppy, and eventually be finished off by the Spirit Lance. You see Fata yelling for the get back. Four staff, one uh, Astral, maybe even one more if the fight lasts long enough. But yeah, so he decides to open right there. BKP from Somnus up to the semi wall. Finds Puppy. Did you get one kill on the side of the Radiant? The stun locked down. Look at that cask. Oh, okay. That's the fine the side. After. Uh, see, over, over there using the Requiem. I'm looking over here, though. Meanwhile, I'm trying to finish off Queen of Pain. Not enough damage, though. So the Requiem went off. Meanwhile, CT. Y will fall, and it's a get back call again from a pain two for nothing so far for LGD. So that was a very split fight right there, and I think that was the issue for Secret, no doubt. Well, the loot too. Take fight. Uh, I mean, you just say that to Ravage. Yeah. More of a fear for Ravage than actually Ravage. Is the fear of the black hole. Yeah, it's the same effect here at all the time. Yeah. It's, he's in trouble. I don't know if they can really do much to get away. This is Fantlancer with the defusal now. And it's the only man that's all the same guy. The damage up and now Sominus the race as soon as he lands, he goes down. 50 seconds. He's dead for he does have buyback, but Tiny obviously would rather not have to buy back here. I mean, do you give up top or back? Maybe you mean save and buyback or you fight this? Uh, I'm not sure. He needs to buy back if they want to take fight now a good time. When Links, but the oh, big FP. That's an epicenter and rabbit on top of that. Fox is in trouble. He goes down actually. He has a buyback. 60 seconds. He's dead for. So now, uh, now unless you double buy back, you pretty much lose. Back. It's not a buy back and you yeah. get some of the kill. Bane, it's fun. Yeah, it's a while. I mean, Tiny's up in a couple, so that could be it. Tiny thing up. Maybe the buyback in a quick thing. Because losing one max, okay. Losing two, though. Yeah, here we go. Fox just like, all right, we got to stop them right here, right? But yeah, Yapser is going to die right off the bat. No, he's dead for 50. The back lands by jumping in. Sockwave does a couple. Rubik may have fallen to that, but Odin lays down the hammer. A couple of kills coming from only the supporting cast. Ace, he's just dealing with the illusions as the rest are going to run away offside of LGD. So you see numbers wise again, really a two for two and a buyback of Queen of Pain. So if you're LGD, you're, you're definitely happy with the outcome there. Yeah, well, only it's two supports for this. Like he actually bought rope from Magi for some reason. Oh, yeah, that's maybe probably a misc. Oh. He did switch it up. Okay, so now he's going to the yeah, he wants okay. to deal the damage. Uh, I mean, BKB is always a safe choice. Yeah. Managed to find the puppy. That's the best hero to sacrifice for Team Secret. Oh, lock sentries dropping. The find the after his vendetta stolen by Ruby, so he actually is going to activate that right away and Find an opening, but again, if you see, you're already down one set of racks. They're gonna lose the melee right here. Ace is gonna be jumped. That vendetta that was stolen finds the opening on a tiny. He's doing everything he can. Tosses an avalanche, but it's not nearly enough. He's dead for basically a minute. No buyback to be had. This could be the beginning of the end right now in favor of LGD. All the LGDs are still good to go. Yeah, LGD does not actually want to wait because the kill team is weak at the moment. Oh, it's still not doing too much of the damage. The fan actually went for that PKB. Now she can use it. Well, it's a lot of jumping around going on, but we get the gist of it right here. <laughs> There's a pie back on an OD. You got the ravage, the ravage happening, and the PKP active on Queen of Pain in the midst of it. And Titaner just running into the base, it feels like. It's trying to be a distraction. Oh, man, okay. He's going to get bursted down, actually. Maybe I should check stuff before I say it so I don't sound <laughs> stupid, but whatever. Yeah, it helps sometimes. Not all the time. Fata. Pops the Shivas, here we go. Yao stuns it with a Burl Strike on two. Lift up onto the Queen of Pain. Yao's trying to still escape himself. The hammer comes down from OD, but he's in trouble now. You're to use the Astro Imprisonment, it looks like, and he is going to end up falling for 70 seconds now. Witch Doctor thrown in the air by the Yos, delaying the inevitable for him. So, so far, two for nothing in favor of LGD, and they want more. Ace is going to be run down. Defusal slow, perhaps, going to be happening soon as he auto attacks alone. Again, burning all that man. He throws out an avalanche. That's just going to. Maybe be enough, actually. Shadow Blades away. Okay, so Tiny, he does make it out of there. And in the back lines, Yapsors and Fata trying to find some targets themselves. Victoria is low, but actually Yapsors gets caught trying to run after him. The Yules initially coming out to stay alive a little bit longer. The Spiked Carapace maybe kiting away. They do take out Rubik. Certainly on with that. Yep. It looks like they drop. Oh, that was not... Uh, actually, they didn't get that kill. Somebody got away right there. Queen of Pain buys back. 
Pops the BKB. Pipe used from FY, though, as they're running away. Do they have a Ravage? It looks like they do. Burl Strike as well as the Epicenter also good to go. And there's that Ravage used by FY. OD's locked down. Ame ends up just finishing the job on him. Puppy goes down as well with the Epicenter coming out. Ace lifted in the air. And boom. There you go. Double kill Double for kill. Ame. As expected. All right. This should be it, though. LGD finishing the job here. Although, what? <laughs> Sonic just died for no reason, it seemed like. Shadow Strike, 1.4k for Queen of Pain. Lift up. Yeah, I thought that this is a dieback on him. He blinks away. Alright, focus on the objectives. Yeah, Almay's gonna go for that instead. Well, Secret's fighting to the bitter end, that's for sure. Don't want it to be so. But this one's gonna end in a split here, look Yeah, when it's time to call it, it's time. Shiny is out, 10 seconds, they're buying back. Victoria, maybe he's gonna be sniped out. This is the overtime now for Secret, just kind of pad those stats a little bit. Yeah, three, we'll talk about that. two, one, just call it. Yeah, it's because of the delay. It's I, the I lag. Yeah, no. Yeah. Totally the lag here, that's why. But it's a long day. It's a long couple of days, safe to say, ahead for these teams as well as us, frankly. But, uh, you know, each team plays 10 games, right? Uh, no, eight games in total. So um, the top four move on. That's what ultimately matters, as long as you're not finishing at the very bottom. So a split here, I think, is what a lot of people probably would expect. It, especially, honestly, if you're a secret, getting a split against a team like LHD with mid one and him not being here in that situation, I think you're, you're ultimately pretty happy with that, right? That, that's, a, that's a good result. 1-1, uh, one, one, still decent for Kingship, as you mentioned, considering the mid one is not here. Uh, we don't know, he might be back tomorrow, he might be. Yeah, we, 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 we don't know. We, we're, we're in the dark just like you guys on that.